Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Divide of the Bite. I'm Katie. I'm so excited you're here with me today. You guys, you can see I've got something good cooking up right here. Actually, no cooking involved today. I have a super special guest today. You aren't going to believe who's here. Can I, can I bring him in? Oh, you want me to? Oh, okay. You guys, it's my cute camera guy. Isn't he cute? Y'all, this is my husband, Scott. He is the one who's behind when I am trying to film the things at the very end and it's too hard to like get the right angle and he's so tall as you can tell. So I know, isn't he tall? So anyways, he makes the best old fashioned cocktail. Old fashioned, if you haven't heard of them, it's uh, often made with bourbon, sometimes rye or whiskey. Um, it's kind of a really popular. I feel like I see it everywhere these days. And Scott, I'm going to pass it over to him. You guys, I don't know. If talk to the people. I don't know if it's a true old fashioned, but it's the way I like them. Yeah. Might be the poor man's old fashioned. I don't know. I tried to encourage Scott that um, he didn't need to be stressing about like if his was proper or just the right thing. I was like, it doesn't matter. It's your old fashioned. Just like my recipes are my versions. And of course there's people out there who make it better or have a cooler idea. It doesn't matter. This is just what we're, you know, we're we showing with you. An orange. Feed Brothers. Oh, we're going to get that. So anyways, I'll, I'll be your, I'm his assistant. Take it away. So talk about what you do. I'm going right. to be getting your things. Cool. I need the Feed Brothers. I'll be getting that. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to do a um, little bit of water. Um, usually I just put it in the sink, but today we'll pour it out of this nice little thing. About an ounce of water-ish, because we're going to make our own simple syrup. Um, because... I don't, don't have simple me. syrup. <laughs> don't mind Katie. This is our own simple syrup. A little bit of water, maybe a teaspoon or so of sugar in there. Pardon me. Pardon We're Kate. We're so professional. This is how we roll. We use the orange bitters. I prefer the Fee Brothers orange yeah, bitters. We actually went for uh, like trying to find a special place trying to find those and then finally found them. How many dashes do you do? I do like two or maybe three. Sometimes okay. up to six, but six is too many for you. So the first one I shook more, it just wasn't coming out. But now... and Oh my gosh, it oh, smells so aromatic already. Yeah. From what I know about the bitters, you guys, the bitters help kind of... Obviously, they're bitter. They help balance that sweet. So it's like sweet, sour, bitter, all the things that are going on in your palate. This is definitely a key to a really good old-fashioned. They have regular bitters that are just plain. I don't know what they are, but they're bitters. These are orange flavored and they just take it up a notch. Okay, so what did you do here? So I did the teaspoon of sugar in with about an ounce of water. Okay. Uh, a couple dashes of bitters. If you really like orange, maybe a few more than a couple. Um, and then I'm just stirring it up. Basically, I want to try to get the granulated parts of the sugar uh, to where it's all liquid. And so some, a little uh, pro tip, if you wanted to, I mean, this is just like for weeknight, we have old fashions occasionally. Um, you could actually make simple syrup, which is equal parts water and sugar, granulated sugar. You put it on the stove top, bring it to a like bubble. As soon as the sugar is dissolved, you're done. Cool it, and you could keep that in a little container or a little pour spout thing if you wanted in place of this. But this is kind of, and that way it's a little harder to control the sugar. The measurement with the granulated and the water is more exact, I think, for your sweetness. But. And we just okay. kind of, I kind of eyeball it. But anyway, it comes out to be about a teaspoon. Do you do your ice cube next or you do No, your... ice cube's the last thing I put in Okay, we can uh, for ice me. Cubes. So uh, we like the Rittenhouse rye because it's our favorite old fashioned uh, from Wooden City, which is yeah. a restaurant in Tacoma. And go, go, Wooden City. They it's our favorite restaurant in Tacoma. So we've tried a lot of different bourbons and rye's. This is our fave. Anyway, so I do uh, maybe two ounces. So that's, you know, that's an ounce and a half, and then you've got to kick it. Well, that's a little more, but we'll, oh, what the heck. It'll be a good night. It'll be fun. Anyway. <laughs> I bet you wish you were here. So two ounces. This is a two-ounce shot glass. This is, yeah, that's probably two and a quarter, two, two and, and a quarter. half now. Okay. But I try to do two. That little second thing, because I don't like to fill it all the way to the top, because then I spill, um, even though I'm spilling it tonight anyway. So I'll, I'll do that, and I'll stir it up a little bit. I have no idea whether you need to stir it up. Um, or not, but I like to stir it. Well, and here's what I want to say. Just like with cooking, you know, you can, uh, you know, follow all the fancy techniques, but ultimately what it does boil down to, if it tastes good to you, 
and it tastes, and good, it to tastes you. good to you. And so enjoy that. That guy's, is that mine? Because it's a little bigger. Sure, I'll be yours. <laughs> See what happens. Okay, talk about these. Oh, these are the uh, Luxardo maraschino cherries, but it's like a dark maraschino. I don't know what makes it dark. They're, I'll, put, I'll put a little blurb below. They're made in Italy. They are so superior They're than the to only me. kind of cherry that you ever want to use in a drink. Only. Really. I don't like maraschino cherries like the ones that are electric red. I've never liked them. I think my palate could tell they were super fake or something. I don't know. So I get I get one cherry out of there, but I make sure I get a little bit of the cherry juice too. Okay. And Because uh, you want a little bit of that. Ooh. And then you kind of stir that up. It changes the color of the drink. Nice. And I know, like, for all you pro, you know, uh, cocktail makers, you're probably going to want to shake this drink. But again, I'm just a stir guy. I'm not James Bond. No 007. And shaking takes more time and makes more set. dishes. So I'm going to stir. Put that to the side. Take these guys back. So what's next? Um, I have the ice cube now. Which okay. I, sometimes I'll do before the cherry, but if I'm just using one spoon and not making a mess. And often in restaurants, you will see them take the ice cube, uh, ice in like a beautiful like glass crystal pitcher, and they kind of swirl around the ice. We don't do that, but just kind of like in the glass, that big ice cube, it just kind of melts it really beautifully. Okay, so very important step that Scott's doing right here. Talk about this. Oh, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just, no. I'm just cutting off a little bit of the you do, honey, orange you do. peel. For the orange zest, and then and then I'll spritz twist it. it and I'll spritz it and so, I'll twist it again. Little technicality. There's a, you see me do this with sometimes with lemons and things. There's a lot of natural oil on the outside of um, citrus fruit, and it, it if you kind of take it and spritz it over, you sometimes can actually see the top of the liquid kind of like sparkle a little bit, and that's the natural oil of the um, fruit kind of. Releasing. Rub it around the and then rim. Rub the it around the rim. You want that gives orange that orange essence. flavor. And then drop that in. Is this all she wrote? That's it. Oh, you want to shake yours up a little bit? Conveniently close to me. Yeah. Cheers. 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 I'm going to have a sip. Let's talk about it. Yes. We've tried a lot of different bourbons and rye, and I will give a quick plug for the Rittenhouse rye. I don't know what y'all do. If Rittenhouse somehow ever gets to see this, but it's so smooth. It's just delicious. We get ours at Metropolitan Market here in uh, the Seattle area, um, but it's really, really good. I wouldn't say it's like exorbitantly pricey or anything. It's just kind of normal, but it's very smooth. You taste that bitter. You taste the orange. It's a really balanced cocktail, and um, we get these cool little fun square glasses at uh, Crate and Barrel, and they're not expensive at all, and then the square ice is made just in a pot in a silicone little ice tray. So these are just super fun. It's a fun fun way to enjoy a cocktail and enjoy. And, and do it to taste. If you like yeah. it a little sweeter, add a little more sugar. If you like it a little less uh, punchy, add a little more water. Look at him go. He's like a pro. I love it. But I like it this way. And then as the ice cube melts, it just kind of mellows yeah. over time. It does mellow as the ice cube melts. So remember what we do now, hon. You've, you've filmed it a thousand times. Delight of the bite. So, I'm going to do it. To the light of the bite. Subscribe, share, tell your friends. Oh my gosh. I mean, he's the best. <laughs> All right, you guys. So please enjoy making an old fashioned. If alcohol is your thing, if it's not, totally no Maybe problem. Don't make, one, don't make one if it's not your thing. Um, but they're really, really good, super fun. And please hit me up for questions or Scott for questions. And um, thanks for tuning into this one. He's the best. I'm so, so blessed. So anyways, um, until next week, who knows what we've got coming, but it'll be fun. Every Wednesday, 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I release a new video. Also, check me out on Instagram, at Delight of the Bite. Thanks, you guys. We'll see ya. Thanks, everybody. Cheers. Bye.